Yeah, yeah. Lady Justice in the house. Keeping the balances of justice level with the light of liberty shining bright. You're so silly. What? Yeah, yeah. Right. Maybe I can see his name. If I go to this side. L. Garner? Yeah, Garner. Good, how about you? Not too bad. Not too bad. What's your name? Cordova. Cordova, you got those metal tags, man. Sometimes you can see those from 50 feet. And sometimes, sometimes if the light catches them just right. Oh, yeah. And sometimes you can't even see them from a foot away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You. What's that? I say I got you. You got me. Sometimes you off. Yeah, yeah. I know most of your department has them written in the sewn on. Yeah. How come you have a metal tag? It's just a uniform I decided to wear today. Oh, okay. You can wear either or. They give yeah. you both. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So how how's your day going, Cordova? Not too bad. Not too bad. Yours? Wonderful. What's your name? Oh, it's not nice to call people names. Why is that? Your mama didn't teach you that? It's not nice to call people names? Call people names? Yeah. yeah. It's not nice to call people names, Cordova. It's always nice to introduce each other. I'm one of the people. Have you have you heard of us? Yeah. We're famous worldwide for securing the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. First for, time I hear that. For forming more perfect unions, establishing justice. He's heard of the people, right? Yeah, man. We the people? Oh, absolutely, dude. Yeah, yeah. L. Garner, how are you doing today? Good, 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 good. Yeah, yeah, man. I, uh, you guys were very professional. Thank you. What was the stop for? Uh, speeding. Speeding. All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. I've had, uh, I've met some other officers on your department that weren't, so, uh, two of them actually have told me that I cannot even speak, that that's interfering. That's a real problem. That's a real problem when I got officers telling me I can't speak. You wouldn't interfere? So. That's never interfering. 3815 section D says speech alone cannot be interfering. Right? I mean, I can throw a full-blown protest, which I didn't do. Can right? Protest no, I could though, right? Protest what I can protest anything I want. But I can okay. definitely protest the government. Yeah, and but what I was telling him is I've had two Hill Country Village officers tell me I cannot even speak. It's uh, interfering if I do. Speak to who? Speak to us? Uh, I can speak. Yeah. Okay. Who do they tell you you can't talk to? Uh, I mean, it's irrelevant, right? I can talk to anybody I want. But they were referring to, like, that guy. I asked him what he was pulled over for. Yeah. Right? You didn't try and tell me I couldn't. Right? But well, two. I saw you. I just. Yeah. The way I saw it, if he wanted to talk to you, he'd talk to you. If he didn't. Yeah, he's allowed to speak too. Yeah, he's allowed to speak. And right. If he didn't want you to talk to him. He could have told me, "Hey, I don't want this person talking to me." That's, that, that's a different story. But well, I can still yeah. talk. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I mean, I can't like threaten him. No, of course not. Right, but uh, he doesn't have to talk to me. Yeah. Exactly. And um, I don't have to talk to him, but I'm definitely allowed to talk. Sure. Right, and that's not interfering. No. You know what I mean? Interfering requires an impediment. Right, like you noticed, I mean, I never got in between you and where you needed yeah. to go. I even like went over there when you were there, you know what I mean? Because um, I know what you guys like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and I know what you don't like too, you know? And uh, if, if officers are telling me that I can't speak, then I start doing a bunch of things that I know you don't like, nice. but that I can do. Because I'm no threat, right? I know I'm not going to hurt you. You know what I mean? I'm not going to do that, right? So if, like, I make sure to stand behind you, I know you're not going to like it. But I can do it. Oh, yeah. Right? And I know I'm not going to harm you, right? I'd rather you just pay attention to the supposed criminal that you pulled over, right? And traffic stops are dangerous. For me, too, right? I'm not, I don't have a gun or a bulletproof vest, right? So when I walk up, um, I'm, you know, I'm taking the same chance as you guys are, right? And if you're focused on me, that's not good for anybody. You know what I mean? That's not good for, sure. Do you upload your videos anywhere, like YouTube? Absolutely, but not until I'm done. What's your username or whatever on YouTube? 
I mean, if you guys, it shouldn't be that hard to figure out who I am. Okay. I'm kind well, of a I just, legend. I know there's a lot of guys that record and put it up on the internet. And I was just curious, you know, I want to see myself. So. You want to <laughs> see yourself? <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of see, you like, got the good I'm angle. Kind, I'm yeah. kind of vain like that. The right? good angle. No, well, I'm just curious. No, no, no. You won't see them until uh, I leave, until I leave town. Because, see, I oh, do okay. things differently than a lot of others, right? And one is, is that I get uh, all the whole story, okay. right? And then I have a pile. Just like when you guys investigate somebody, okay, you don't go and, like, get one piece of evidence and then run to CNN with it, yeah. right? Uh, you wait until your whole investigation is done. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then you start... Oh, yeah. producing the evidence right and um you know sometimes somebody's nice like you guys are being really nice right now right Thank you. but i haven't pressed your buttons either <laughs> you know what i mean sure. like you didn't seem to care that i was here right i mean i know you didn't call back up because i was here you guys always call back yeah. I, I know you didn't do that because i was here and he didn't come over and like hassle me or anything ah. like that he didn't give me dirty looks and like you know what I mean? You guys have been nice. With Hill Country Village, yeah, I've had real problems with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, the First Amendment is on attack, in, uh, on attack in this county. Big time. Bear County is a national radar. National this radar. Equals out or balances out. No, it doesn't. You it doesn't. cannot make up for the, the high crimes that have been committed in this county. Um, I didn't even know about Hill Country Village, you know, but, uh, but San Antonio and Leon Valley... They're world famous right now. Yeah, world famous. But Bear County in general has major park. issues. Oh, Almost Park? Oh, Don't geez. Them, right? Don't get me started on them. I didn't know they were in Bear County, are they? Yeah. Oh, oh man, they. I think they learned their lesson, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, we definitely, you know, it's hard to miss the big protests and all that, so... They were a Second, men, they were a second Amendment second offender. Amendment. I think so, yeah, but... But... San Antonio and Leon Valley have a problem with the First Amendment, right? Okay. Filming, um, free speech, protests, right? There's some misunderstandings with disorderly conduct, right? I love to talk about disorderly conduct. Um, you know, the difference between profanity or vulgarity and obscenity, right? Obscene speech is not free speech, yeah. okay? And obscene speech would include describing a sexual act, uh, propositioning somebody for sex, uh, that's obscene, right? Uh, porn is obscene, right? But, um, every swear word you can think of, that's obscen, that's uh, vulgarity or profanity. That's First Amendment protected speech, right? Even if, you know, some crying mother is there saying she was offended, she wasn't offended because there was no offensive speech. Right, there has to be offensive speech, right? Like, do you mind if uh, I just finish up real We gotta get back to work. Hey, absolutely, and and also there has to be an immediate breach of the peace for disorderly conduct, right? Forty dot oh one, you know. So just because somebody's saying they're offended, I mean, they have to immediately like come and hit me in the mouth because they're so offended. <laughs> Literally, there has to be an immediate breach of the peace over those words, right? So like fighting words, sure. you know what I mean. Uh, hate speech, right? And um, but it has to inflict an immediate injury just by the very utterance, and cause an immediate breach of the peace, right? So Thank just you, some crying mother saying I'm offended doesn't mean anything. Thank you for letting us know. I, I mean, you know, know, right? You oh, knew that well, already. Well, thanks for the update. They appreciate it, man. Absolutely. Have a good name. Well, it's not nice to call people names. No, I'm not calling <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys have a great day. All right. Hey, come talk to me at Starbucks sometime, man. Starbucks? Okay. Do you ever go to Starbucks? Uh, sometimes. All right, man. All right. I'm there every day. Okay. Have a good day. Press on. Right? Couldn't wait to get out of there once I started talking about laws, though. That was a little much for, uh, yeah, but I did get the, the speeding info. That guy didn't want to tell me. So funny. The one time Hill Country actually uh, served the people. Press on, right?